It's Friday, and that means it's time for the weekly RPG News Rundown. Now, in the past couple of weeks, a lot of new information has been coming in about the new Dungeons & Dragons 5.5 Player's Handbook, and there's so much detail that we'll be doing individual videos on things like general rules changes and class changes that have been announced, so there won't be stories about those particular things in this week's news video. Now, let's get started. Popular virtual tabletop site Roll20 has been hacked. On July 2nd, the company sent an email to users to announce a data breach that may have revealed full names, IP addresses, and the last four digits of stored credit cards. They added that more sensitive data such as full credit card numbers, passwords, and addresses were not compromised because these are not stored in Roll20's database. Nightbound is a new TTRPG taking cues from Hellblazer and based on the Powered by the Apocalypse rules. It's a game of supernatural conflict in which you play a soul doomed to hell. And it's published by Creative Jam and on Kickstarter now for just about one more day. A new RPG card pack will be in stores on July 10th called The Deck of Many Insults. It's exactly what it sounds like, a deck of cards with an insult on each one to be used with the bard's vicious mockery cantrip. It's published by Loki, or Loke, Battlemats, and the MSRP will be $17.99. Steamforged recently purchased all of the Iron Kingdoms and War Machine related IP, and they've already announced a new project for Iron Kingdoms roleplay. Coming soon to Kickstarter will be their remake of Strange Light Workshop, a paranormal investigation TTRPG set in the Iron Kingdoms. The game has been described as a Hellboy meets Ghostbusters and will be redone as a 5e based game. Hydro 74, the artist who created so many of the alternate covers for D&D books throughout the 5e era, has announced on Twitter that the Vecna Eve of Ruin cover will be the last one they do for Wizards of the Coast, saying that the company has decided to change direction. Out on backer kit now for another couple of days is Wasteland Degenerates Jumper Cable Edition. This is a zine-style publication that is a quick-start edition of another upcoming game, the Merkborg-compatible Cyborg. The setting is a near-future post-apocalypse with a car combat system and road wars. And while that might bring Furiosa to mind, it also makes me think of those other Borg. The ones from Star Trek? You know, the ones Lily Sloan said sounded Swedish? Well, in this case, they are. Ava's Adventures completed a new Kickstarter campaign this week for a book called Let the Games Begin. The supplement includes rules and mechanics for in-game games in 5e, often called mini-games, by which I mean games your characters play. There are 50 such games explained in the book, scaling all the way from tavern games like gambling with dice to tournament-level competitions. You know, let's hope things turn out better in those tournament games for your PC than they did for Oberon Martell. A new campaign expansion is coming from Free League for the One Ring RPG called Moria Through the Doors of Durin. It'll take you to the site of the original dungeon crawl itself, the underground realm of Khazad-dûm. The time is set after the fall of Moria, but before the events in The Hobbit. The print book will be available within a few weeks, while the PDF is available now. Spoiler alert for Gimli, there's no more malt beer or red meat off the bone in Moria. On Kickstarter now is Cocaine Owlbear Deluxe Edition, a minigame based on 5e rules from Bloat Games. In this game, you play an owlbear who gains sentience by ingesting enchanted cocaine, and you must seek more of it to retain your sentience after the first dose wears off. I guess great minds think alike, because I did a video a while back about how to create a custom monster and envisioned my own take on the beloved cocaine bear. The link to that video is in the description for this one, so check it out. And that's the news for this week. I'm Dave, and thanks for watching.